So today's tea is jasmine green tea with a bit of honey. Ooh, it's hot, but it's really good. Guess what time it is? Tea time with Jess and Ruby. I haven't done a tea time talk in a while, and actually for today's tea time talk, I would love to introduce you all to, sorry, I'm so excited about this, my personal website about BJ Days. I have a website now, I'm super like, awesomely excited about it. If you want to visit the site, uh, it's www.resinreality.com. It's exciting opening up a website. Um, Basically, just kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about it. It's not like, oh, it's all about me. What am I doing? Blah, blah, blah. Um, it is actually a kind of um, more organized version of my YouTube, I guess. Uh, along with, you know, I have a blog that I have there too that kind of has like daily, you know, blurps that I'll be putting in there or um, adventures that maybe I just, you know, don't want to edit into a video and I just kind of take pictures and whatnot. Um, but basically, what I would love to have it, you know, be is a resource for people that, you know, either that, uh, are perhaps first starting in the hobby, or even those that, you know, have been in the hobby for a while, if they just want to come and just look at some of the stuff that I have. Um, because it's not just tutorial stuff that I'll be offering on the website. I'll be having, you know, it's a little bit more organized for reviews, but... The cool, cool thing that I'm trying to set up also is that I'm going to have character bios and I'm also going to try to have um, a place to put down a portion of my story, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of other cool things that I'd like to branch out from uh, the site as well eventually. I would like to perhaps have some stuff for BJD Addicts there. Uh, I know I've talked about bracelets like forever, like I wanted to get those silicone bracelets and like put BJD Addicts, you know, on it or something so people could buy them. But I just haven't gotten around to that, but now that I have a website, um, I actually have another cool medium to uh, kind of showcase stuff like that off on and uh, you know, share with people and whatnot. But um, the website, uh, when you go to the home page, it has the list of the links on top, and then um, on the front page there is a section with my dolls on it. Uh, what I've essentially created there, and it's still a lot of it's still under you know construction. I'm still working on it, so some of the links that you might see or some of the parts of the website still might say like coming soon, or I just don't have a lot of information on there. But I just really, really wanted to show you all the website, um, so that way you can you know take a look at it and uh, I'm, I'm super really proud. I'm just like super really duperly really proud of myself um, and I'm proud of my husband too because we've never, I, I've never worked with WordPress. He, he's worked with websites before but um, I mean he's a network, you know, specialist technology dude guy, <laughs> um, network technician. Um, but I myself am not like, you know, all up in the technology and whatnot. So I actually had to learn how to use WordPress, which was really interesting because I've never had to do stuff like that before. So it was a lot of experimentation and trying to see uh, what happens if I do this or what happens if I do that. What will you know it change on the website and the layout and whatnot. The really really cool part um, about my website and the front page with the dolls in it is that I actually have it sectioned off to where it's like one third, one fourth, one sixth dolls. If you click on those links, it sorts the pictures and it's like really cool and it shows you like the pictures of my like, one-third scale dolls that I own and then if you click the one-fourth it shows you all the one-fourth scale size dolls I own and then one-sixth so on and then um, if you click all it'll show you all my dolls and like the tiles and the pictures and stuff right now I just kinda just have a couple of my dolls put up there I don't have all of them because I've got quite a lot and I haven't taken many pictures of them um, which I'm hoping this website will kind of, you know, push me to take more pictures of my dolls, too. Um, but for the dolls that I do have up there in the tiles, I have, uh, basically, I think just either it's their box opening video or their review for that doll. Um, or I'll have, like, the character bio video that I might have done. You know, I think I have one for Noel or Tres. Somebody has one, I think, up there. But I'm hoping to eventually plan to have um, 
videos, like individual videos for those dolls. And that way I can link it to the website there. And that way when you click on that picture of that doll, you can see the video. Or um, hopefully I can write a description too of their character and kind of like what their personality is like. Up there, I also have a section in the, the top tabs where it says like character bios. I only have like three or four, I think, characters up right now. I don't have a lot on them, which makes me feel kind of bad, but um, I have a character bio set up for Kai, Yue, and Umi, I think. I don't know if I put Tres up there yet or not, but basically it's just like their age, their name, like what they like, what they dislike, and then a quote. And I kind of did it in the format, like as if they were being interviewed, so it's kind of like speech, like they're talking, so they're in quotations. So that way you can kind of get a little bit more on like my characters and how they, you know, are and whatnot. I, I'd like to do that for all my dolls eventually. I, I think once summer hits, I'll have so much time to do more. Um, I just basically wanted to get the website established and start setting up some of the stuff up there. Um, that's why I like a lot of my product reviews. I think I only have Hujo things right now. Um, but I would like to separate some of the other product reviews um, for other dolls and products that I've, um, you know, gone through and then kind of, you know, put a little blurb and whatnot and say, like, uh, my experience, how long it took me to get in those items, whatnot. So, uh, something I would like to do. Of course, there's a section there talking about my commissions and my face-up work. Um, I'm really, really, really uh, hoping to get some stuff in the summer. I know I've been getting a couple commissions here and there, so hopefully I'll get some more in the summer so that way I can kind of increase the um, variety of face-ups that I'm able to do. Uh, I was really excited to do the fantasy pieces that I got recently, so um, I really like experimenting and doing different kinds of things. Uh, my face-up style has, has been changing, um, and I mean, you can totally see it in pictures. It's, it's insane how different my first face-ups compared to my ones that are now, you know, the styles, you know, it's way different. So I, I'm, you know, still learning. I'm still learning a lot of different things. Um, and I'm, I'm definitely, you know, still kind of trying to, to get into my own craft and my own style. But uh, I, I do enjoy doing face-ups. I really, really do like it a lot. And um, like I said, hopefully I'll get more time in the summer. But there is a page um, on my website that talks about my commissions and it links you to some of my um, portfolio that I had, the portfolio that I have set up on DA and um, kind of the process that I go through and whatnot. So. I also have a section dedicated to BJD Addicts. I'm hoping to put more stuff there too. Right now it kind of just explains what the group is and whatnot, but um, I would definitely like to put more stuff up there for BJD Addicts for sure. Um, i trying to think what else I have on my website. Uh, I do have a, um, an, a, sh a short about me section. Um, just you're curious about me, I, I have a little section there um, about me and the hobby and whatnot. But the blog is the really, really cool thing that I'm really excited about. I have, I think, a total of five entries right now, or four entries. Um, and some of them are just completely random, like talking about the music that I use in my videos. Uh, there's, I know I have one that was pretty, uh, pretty interesting, which talked about my face-up journey. I had some, I threw some pictures of my old face-ups compared to my new ones, and like my old ones are like hilarious uh, to look at the old face-ups that I, that I used to do. Um, and I basically, there's one that I'm working on right now, I'm working on a blog right now, um, on a, uh, cleaning, an ABS cleaning adventure with a company face-up, uh, which was the Hujo Leo face-up. Oh my gosh, that was a nightmare trying to clean that face-up. I don't know what Hujo does. It's amazing because that face-up stays on there, so if you get a Hujo doll with a factory face-up on, that face-up is like 100% guaranteed never to come off. So if you really like their face-ups and that's fantastic for you, your face-up is fine. It'll be protected for like probably until like, you know, aliens come and invade our planet. Like it is insanely strongly put on there because I, I did a blog on it and I, I tried my original method which was, you know, using, um, using the, the simple green 
which is this stuff right here, using Simple Green to get it off, and I couldn't get it off of the Simple Green. I was sitting there scrubbing, 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 and eventually some of it started coming off, but it just wasn't fast enough for me. So I used, like, uh, rubbing alcohol, and so I took pictures of me using the rubbing alcohol, and that kind of did stuff. So I, I, I seriously got fed up, and I did the hugest no-no, which, you know, I have told, you know, countless people do not use Windsor and Newton brush cleaner on ABS. It will melt that sucker. And so I was just like, screw it, I just want this face up off, you know, and so I grabbed it and I was like, if I work really fast and if I clean it off real fast, it should be okay. Oh my gosh, like the instant I put that cotton ball with the Windsor and Newton on it and I was scrubbing at it a little bit, it started getting sticky because it's like melting, you know, the plastic. And I was like, oh my god, it's coming off, but it's also making my plastic warp, but I don't know what to do. So like, I did it like in sessions. Like, I did a little bit of it, and I was like freaking out because it got really sticky, and I was like, okay, I gotta wash it, I gotta wash it, and I washed it. But like, I felt so bad because I had, it, it went through so much chemicals and stuff trying to clean off that face up, and I took pictures of everything during the, the journey. So, I mean, that'll be on a blog so you can, so you can kind of see Oh, uh, very important, I just thought this right now popped in my head because I was saying talking about it um, already in my head. Uh, frequently Asked Questions. I have a Frequently Asked Questions page because I, I get the same questions asked on my YouTube and on my DeviantArt and my Facebook quite often. So I think this would be a really good resource. That way I can direct people to it if they have, you know, the same questions that I get asked over and over talking about, you know, what's the doll, what's a good... First time doll, um, can you tell me a little bit about the sizing differences between dolls? What about eyes? What about wigs? Where can I buy a doll from? I can go ahead and I can refer them to those things on the Frequently Asked Questions page. And that way, hopefully, you know, that'll help answer questions before they, you know, have to come and ask me about them. Which I don't mind answering them, but like, you know, I, I mean, I've already answered them, so like, you know, why, I don't know why I try to beat a dead horse. <laughs> I couldn't think of like a saying. It was like, I was trying to, there's another saying where like, why try to rebuild Rome or, I don't know what it is. You know what the saying, now this is random, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, like why, why bother with that? So um, I'm gonna have that frequently asked questions page there too. So I'm also hoping that, um, you know, it'll help, it'll help people, you know, that have those questions. And that way also too, that if I perhaps, you know, put myself out to hopefully go to conventions to present, I can be like, look at my website, look at this cool website that I made with the dolls, you should totally, you know, let me do a panel, what's up, I'll bring free prizes, yeah, so, yeah. But yeah, I'm still kind of thinking more things that I kind of want to add to the website, um, it's really cool, I really like having it a lot. And it actually has, like, its own email. Like, I have my own email there, too. Um, so you're free to post comments on there, send me email messages through that, uh, through my website there. Um, a whole bunch of really, really cool stuff. So I'm just really excited, and I'm, I'm super excited to be able to start actually having somewhere to write down stories and character profiles and personalities for my dolls. Because, I mean, a lot of them have, I mean, it's like such a cutesy, awesome looking shoujo, you know, yeah, yo, senpai finally noticed me story in my head. But, you know, I've never been able to actually write it down anywhere and, you know, share with people. So, I mean, this is, this will be a good way for me to do that. And it'll be a good way to showcase my dolls, you know, to kind of, you know, be able to show peeps who I have and my dolly family and whatnot, so... In other news, I mean, I've got a con coming up in uh, May here, towards the end-ish of May, Anime Odyssey. Any of you peeps going to that con, I look forward to seeing you guys there. I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm excited. If you do come see me in anime, at Anime Odyssey, I will be giving out free prizes at the panel. I'm going to give away dolls, so I hope you guys can come. That'd be awesome. I'm going to be giving away free dolls just by coming to the panel and getting a raffle ticket. It's my husband. He's watching The Office. I apologize if you heard his random laughing or random things in the background. That was him. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I got a haircut. You see my hair? I chopped it all off. 
I went. I didn't. I went to go get it done somewhere. So um, this is really random now. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, oh, and I know you guys didn't ask. I feel so bad because I keep on forgetting to do it. And I did like two videos and I still didn't do it. Some of you guys asked about my girl that's sitting back here. This one right here. Uh, they were like, who's that blind girl in the back? Uh, she's not technically a new doll, actually. Um, she is the quote-unquote ongoing project that I have going on. Uh, she is a 60-centimeter obitsu, and um, she's got a Gretel head on right now that I've painted, and um, she's borrowing clothes from everybody right now. But uh, this is my project doll, because she's got really, really, really bad staining. Um, that I've been working with different products trying to see what I could do to kind of remove the stains or at least lighten them a bit. Um, her name is Tori. T-O-R-I. Tori. And um, she's she's kind of just chilling here. I, I really honestly haven't thought of anything more concrete for her. First I was like, yeah, she should totally be in Thres band and she could be like awesome and be like the drummer because girl drummers are awesome. But like I didn't, I don't know, I don't want to be too cliche. As you, as you can see, she's still, like, she's very, um, she's kind of, um, flopsy and stuff. She's kind of loose. But I still love her. She's so cute. I love her. I, I think, I think I'm really in love with Obitsu dolls. Like, the, the larger scale versions of them are amazing. So, um, I'm pretty much out of tea. And, um, I hope, uh, you guys do visit the website. Because I was so excited about it. Um, and I will definitely be seeing you guys in another very, 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 very video very, very, very soon. And, uh, I hope you guys have a fantastically awesome day. Bye! Uh -huh.